Howdy, ladies. Where are you from? For 138 years... Well, come on in. I'll show you what we have. People have been strolling through the door of the Buckhorn Saloon. The cafe is open for lunch only. Some just for a cold drink on a hot Texas day. And a uh, Lone Star, please. Others are here all the time. I work downtown locally. Come here, eat lunch. Still others come here for something you can't get at many other places. We just got a two-headed, six-legged, two-tailed calf. That is just one of the more than 1,000 mounts lining the Buckhorn's walls. 520 unique species from around the world. A collection that began with the original owner. He would trade free beer and whiskey for mounts and hides. Oh, you have a whole chart. Oh, oh hey. Those mounts and hides oh, cool. now draw in tourists like John and Amy Alves of California. We're walking and saw Wild Bill out here. You guess <laughs> that's who that is? And he talked us into coming in. Everywhere you look, something is looking back. I wonder if they have little camera eyes in some of them. The most prized mount, a 78 point buck from 1890. But how in the world do you keep a 130 year old deer head looking good? It requires quite a bit of upkeep. Once a year, when the last customer walks out, all the mounts are brought back to near lifelike condition. You have a dirty car, you wash it. You have dirty taxidermy, we clean it. Wade West owns Headhunter Trophy Care. The retired firefighter and his crew traveled the country. Most people say it's a pretty cool job, I guess. Cleaning taxidermy. And this set in here, people are coming to actually look at the taxidermy. It's, it's part of the, the, the show. Each mount has to be sprayed with special solutions, steamed, gently wiped with soft cloths, and if needed, brushed out um, to look its best. So it was kind of weird at first, like, uh, <clears throat> you do what? And I'm like, yeah, I clean dead animals for a living. It's much more difficult than it looks. At times, you have to climb like, yes, a mountain goat, and be as nimble as a cat. Am I gonna miss your lift? Because one wrong move and you become the proverbial bull. You can see the- In a china closet. The hair just falling out of it. So you just gotta be very, very, very delicate and gentle when you're cleaning these because it could just cause further damage. West says the toughest mouse to clean are the old ones or those with white fur. Basically I'm a magnet for dirt and you can see it. I mean, dirt's gray and brown and on a white, <laughs> on a white polar bear, it's obviously gonna, gonna stick out the most. They clean mounts for big name places like Bass Pro Shop and Cabela's. But those places take days. The buckhorn is unique. It's concentrated. You have a wall with 30 pieces on it. You can knock that wall out in you know, 45 minutes or an hour. And it's that uniqueness that's had folks coming to the buckhorn for more than 130 years. To look at the animals, which at times really appear to be looking back. Even as West and his crew coming and doing museums is a little bit different. Are looking out for them. Everything in here has history. You want to make sure that they're preserved forever. Barry Davis, Kins 5, Eyewitness News.